Hello everybody, welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We're going to be painting a whale on a really neat background. So start with your watercolor piece of paper in portrait, sorry, in landscape position. And you can trace or draw the shape of a whale onto your piece, like in, right in the center of your piece of paper. And once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and just apply uh, a water wash right on top to your piece of paper. Try to make sure that the water is evenly spread out. There's no pooling going on anywhere. And once you have accomplished that, um, you want to pick up blue watercolor. So I'm going to go with a baby blue here. And hold your, um, your piece of paper kind of towards you, upwards. And put your paintbrush at the top and drop some pigment on. And hold it upwards and let that, um, that paint just flow downwards. So you're going to want to have quite a bit of water on your paintbrush when you're doing this. So another one here some here so just let that flow downwards and what I've seen some people do I just don't have a spritz bottle but they have a spritz bottle that they just keep spraying and it allows the pigment to just flow naturally down the page. So you can try doing that if, it, if you're having a hard time with this. Um, so I'm gonna go again, I'm picking up a little bit more. dropping it at the top and letting that color flow downwards. So you do want them to be kind of uniform streaks, almost. I don't want them to bunch at the bottom, so I'm just going to literally make them go off the page. And the problem is, is my paper is already drying. Okay, so that absolutely did not turn out how I thought it was going to turn out. So we're going to change the plan here. Whoops, that made it even worse. But what I'm doing is I am just spreading that blue out across the entire page. We're going to try again. You want it to be nice and light though, so try not to add too much more pigment just spread out what you already had on the page if you were if you didn't watch this first and if you want to just totally start with a clean slate grab some tissue or like toilet paper and literally bam like that is like there's still a hint of blue there but it'll do so, gosh, I have to improvise on the spot because I'm not really sure what to do since my original technique absolutely failed. Ah, it's so annoying when it does that. I'm just trying to apply a really light 
blue background to this painting. What can we do to make this look a little bit better? I'm going to just grab my mop brush and um, gently go over my paper to make sure that all of the water is evenly spread out on it as much as we can. And I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to just take darker blue and dab it on the piece of paper. And hopefully that will spread out a little bit more than it's doing right now. And I don't know, maybe it'll turn into looking, start looking like something. I guess I had a really good streak with my paintings, like every painting was turning out. So, you know, I do need a few that just absolutely are horrendous. And this might be one of them. I am not digging this polka dot thing going on. Uh-uh. I took that lighter blue that I originally used for the background and I'm applying some of that now too because it seems to spread a lot easier than the than the darker blue for some reason. But let's hope I'm, now I'm just like sprinkling water on top. And I'm hoping that does something. All right. Um, so I just tilted mine to the side and like this started bleeding. I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna let this dry and if it looks okay, then you will see it. And if it doesn't look okay, then this tutorial will not even make it to YouTube. So let's see what it turns out looking like. Okay, this is still, you know, not... It is what it is. Let's just see what we can do with the whale. So, um, I'm going to have my whale, like this part is going to be shaded here. So I've taken that original dark blue that I was using for those dots. I've mixed it with a bit of black. And that's what I'm using for this bottom portion here. And in this case, I'm doing, I'm doing the darkened portion first. There's really no reason for it, but. I'm just gonna rinse my brush out a bit and start blending that out before it has a chance to dry. So this, this top part is going to be the brightest, it's going to be the most exposed to the light. I've covered my tail so I don't really know what it looked like. So I'm going to guess that it was something like this. <clears throat> And this is going to extend upwards. And the belly of it is also going to be quite bright. Whereas the center is going to be darker. And the half of my fin 
on the front is going to also be darker of that shadow whereas the other one is going to be light and I'm just gonna blend this out so it's nice and smooth nice gradient there and this one is like totally separate so we can do that fin later I do want to keep working on this part while it is still decently wet so I want to make this part a lot darker I've taken black with my blue And I'm just, you know, putting it in the places that I'm going to blend out really nice. I do want to keep this top as nice and bright as I can because you know it like the top is exposed to the light coming from the sky even though it's in water it's still facing the sky and that's where the light comes from so that's already that second layer I think really made it look quite nice And I do want to make, create the illusion that this fin is attached to this side of the body, which is why I'm lifting off paint going into the body there, because then it extends the fin like so. Okay. I do want to pick up some pigment on this underbelly part because we're going to be adding some details there as well and I want this this whole part to be bright as well like that um, and I'm gonna wait until it's dry to do this fin but actually I'm looking at this now there's a little bit of a, a dip here, which I'm going to try and fix. There we go. So let's let this dry and come back. Okay, so that's dried a little bit. It's not completely dry, but it's dry enough for me to feel confident to continue with this next part. Um, so we're gonna be painting that fin down here. It's gonna be a lot darker than the part that it's attached to. So this part's going to be almost black and the other half of it is going to be that beautiful blue like so it's a little too dark on this side for my liking so I am going to try and pick up some of that pigment. Okay. 
that's a little bit better. Okay. Um, right here is still wet, like this darkest part. So I think I'm gonna keep going here with the details. So I'm gonna take uh, my size quadruple zero for this next part because we really have to be careful. And I'm taking that beautiful dark blue that has been watered down. And we're gonna be painting the like lines that are on the belly part of the whale. It's easiest if you just look up an image on online of you know what that looks like. But I'm gonna try and make these as thin as possible. Like that's too thick in my opinion. And they're just gonna run down and gradually disappear. Like so. Could add a couple more in between if you wish, as long as you can make them really thin. And the other thing is um, I want to create the mouth and it always like a whale's mouth looks so funny to me because it looks upside down kind of like something like that <laughs> and then we want the eye as well which is somewhere around here Yeah, I think that's all right. So the next thing I'm going to do, just to spruce this up a tiny bit, I'm going to take blue, I'm going to water it down and just flick some of that blue onto our painting. And that kind of spruces it up. I'm going to take the baby blue as well okay and then the last thing is i'm going to take white acrylic paint and um, add a little bit white as well like some white flicks I have to water that down a little bit more because white acrylic paint is denser. Now, I may have ruined it a little bit. <laughs> it depends on what your opinion is there. Do a little close up, but that's basically what it looks like. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed it, hit like on this video. It helps me out. Um, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next tutorial.